On the porch of her new one-room house, Tin Tin Win can finally start to relax. Life for her and her children and grandchildren has been a struggle in Myanmar's commercial capital, Yangon. There's limited state help in the country, so when times are tough, people depend on the charity of others. Our experience was that because the rent went up several times, we couldn't afford to stay in our house. That's why we had to move here. Her family now lives in a housing cooperative run by a local Buddhist monastery. More than 2,400 families have moved into the complex since it opened 14 months ago. Each family gets a 15 by 15 foot plot of land on which they can build their homes. Two years ago, Mint Ni's husband had a stroke. With no income, the family soon couldn't afford to pay rent. They've been here since October, but unable to afford building materials, they've been staying in a communal dorm. I have no relatives, so I have no one to help me. I only have my mother, who also had no place to stay. I could not rely on her. But the monastery has run out of space and can no longer house any more families. They're trying to get funding to buy more land, so those forced from their homes by rising property prices have somewhere to go. We have no more 15-foot plots to give away now. We really have nothing left that we can do here. But for people with major difficulties, the abbot will think of a way to help them. In Yangon, the average rent for a small flat has gone up 25 percent this year. Over the past two years, it has doubled and in some places tripled. As the country opens up to outside investment after years of isolation, demand is outstripping supply. And although that's making landlords rich, it's the poorest who are suffering.